Team Drunk! Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons is a pretty interesting third-person puzzle platformer. You play as both Nai and Naya simultaneously, using a thumbstick for each. My first thought when playing this was, wow, I'm going to get my ass kicked so badly. I can't get each of these guys to go the right way at the right time. Wait, who is who again? Where am I going? But there's barely any combat, if any at all. That's a relief, I guess. It's all puzzle solving, traveling across vast landscapes and harsh terrains. The controls are tricky to get used to at first, but hey, if I can manage, you can manage. Most of the puzzles are reasonably intuitive, and do a nice job not only building in complexity as the game goes along, but slowly revealing more functions your characters are capable of performing. Everything is done organically here, not much hand-holding or exposition, and I always appreciate that. Let the gameplay itself do the talking. And really, what talking needs to be done during scenes like this? Again, like games like Limbo, this is a game where you just shut the lights off and get sucked into the game's universe. I should point out, the game starts very simple and very basic, but don't let that deter you. It does pick up the further you play. So, since there's two characters, that means this is a two-player game, right? Uh, no. Brothers is a single-player game where you control two players. Does that sound goofy to you? I have no idea the reasoning behind that decision, but that's the way it is, sadly. Anyway, Brothers is a story-driven game first and foremost. That's all well and good, but the problem is the story really isn't all that great. Mom drowned and Dad's sick, so let's wheel Dad over to the doctor where he tells us to get some water out of the Tree of Life. Look, I like the minimalistic approach and all, but how about telling us a little bit about the relationship between the kids and the dad, or how about trying to make the player care a little bit? I guess what I'm saying is that the yeah. game does a nice job telling its story through the gameplay, so I would have liked a little bit more of that. I will say, things do pick up quite a bit, where you meet giants, griffins, wolves, and a huge spider. But that brings about another problem. Just when you start to get used to the controls and get into the story, it's over. Brothers is only about three hours long. Again, minimalism is nice and all, I'll take that approach over bloated nonsense like, say, Skyward Sword or games like that, but I feel like Brothers was just beginning to scratch the surface of its world, so that's kind of a shame. Anyway, Brothers is available on Steam, Xbox Live, and the PlayStation Network. If you liked the game Journey from back in 2012, give Brothers a shot if you haven't, but don't give up on it too quickly. There's similar games that emphasize an overall experience. The controls might feel wonky and the story might come across as bland at first, but the game's overall structure, the inventive puzzles, and the impressive scenery will be worth your time.